Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can withdraw your funds from Anchor Protocol. Now in the previous video, I explained to you guys how we can deposit funds to Anchor Protocol to start earning that sweet sweet yield on your USD stable coins at a rate of nearly 20% APY, which I think is hard to beat when compared with the yield offered by many other cryptocurrency exchanges and platforms on stable coins such as USDC, BUSD and USDT. Well, in case if you want to find out how exactly you could start earning interest on your stable coins using Anchor Protocol, you can click the link on the top right corner of the screen to access that tutorial. And coming back to today's topic, I will show you how you can retrieve your assets from Anchor Protocol, hopefully after having parked your stable coins here for quite some time, earning that interest, and at some point of time you will decide to take these uh, stable coins out and do something with it. Could be to simply just cash it out or maybe invest it in another project. So over here you can see that I have opened up this earn tab of Anchor Protocol and currently as you can see I have in total 98 UST in my account and I'm trying to withdraw all of this out to an external exchange. Now that external exchange could vary depending on your preference. It could be an exchange like Binance, FTX, Coinbase, anything that basically can support UST stable coins. However, similar to the process that you have to follow when depositing UST into Anchor Protocol, this is also actually going to involve a couple of steps. Well, two major steps to basically narrow it down. The first step being withdrawing these UST stable coins from Anchor Protocol into your Terra Station wallet. And from there, you can withdraw the UST coins back to any exchange of your choice from the Terra Station wallet. So I'm going to take you through the entire process in this tutorial. So let's get started by clicking over here on this withdraw button because in this case we would like to withdraw this 98 USD stable coins and as you can see we have to specify how much exactly we would like to withdraw so I'm going to click over here on this 98 USD however you can see that there's a transaction fee of 0.25 USD so the actual amount that you would receive would be 97.749 and that's totally fine because this is basically a negligible amount especially when compared with the with the network fees of other blockchains so i'm going to click over here on proceed and as soon as you do that if you open up your terra station wallet now in your case you could be using a desktop wallet or you could be using the wallet as a chrome extension or just like in my case you could be using the mobile version of a terra station wallet and in your respective wallet you will sort of get a notification like this which you can use to initiate this transfer. So I'm going to sign this by clicking over here on this button. And just like that, you can see that the transaction will get initiated just in a matter of few seconds. And you will sort of get a notification like this, uh, mentioning that how much was the transaction fee and how much was the return amount. So we can click over here on OK. All right, guys, now we are pretty much done with Anchor Protocol itself. And from here onwards, what we are going to deal with is the Terra Station wallet from which we would take out the USD coins into an external exchange or an external wallet. So guys, as you can see over here, I have about 99.19 USD coins in my Terra Station wallet. And I would like to transfer all of these out from Terra Station wallet into my FTX exchanges wallet. So if you click over here, you can see that this send USD page basically loads up in which we have to enter the Terra address to which we would like to send these coins and of course we have to specify the amount and there is an optional memo as well. So it's quite important that you use the corresponding Terra address at any of the exchanges to which you are trying to actually send these coins over to. So in my case since I'm going to use the FTX exchanges wallet, I'm going to open up the desktop application simply by heading over to ftx.com all right, after that, I'm going to head over to wallet and go over to portfolio, which will basically open up my FTX wallet. As you can see over here, it's basically an empty wallet as per now, but we're trying to deposit some USD coins into this FTX wallet. So first of all, what we have to do is we have to search for the asset that we're trying to deposit. So it's going to be USD. And what we are trying to do now is we're trying to deposit USD. So I'm going to click over here on this button. And as you can see over here, this is the corresponding address that you're supposed to use when you're using the Terra blockchain and you will have to use this number for your memo as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to my Terra Station wallet and I'm going to copy these two items into my Terra Station wallet. 
And of course, in addition to that, I will also have to specify the corresponding amount that I would like to transfer. So I'm going to transfer out everything. That's going to be about 99.16 USD coins. And once I have verified that uh, everything is in order, I will click over here on this next button. And as you can see, there's a final confirmation that we have to do. And once everything is confirmed, you can just click over here on confirm. And again, it'll be followed by you entering your password. And just in a matter of few seconds, your transaction will actually get uh, initiated. So as you can see over here, my Terra Station wallet is all, almost empty because I have withdrawn out everything. And now we'll head back to FTX and you can see that even without me having to refresh my FTX wallet, that 99.169 USD coins actually showed up right over here. And that was extremely fast. It took even less than one minute for the USD coins to show up in my FTX wallet. And with this guys, I think we are pretty much done. I might just decide to cash this out or I might just purchase some different assets using these uh, USD coins. Now it's up to you. So that's how you basically transfer your stable coin assets out from Anchor Protocol into an exchange of your choice. I hope the tutorial was clear for you guys. If you do have any questions, you can always add a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks a lot for extending your support as always. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. So until next time, take care guys.